Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 136. WhatsApp has published its first intermediary guidelines report in compliance with the new information technology rules. The popular chat application has banned over 20 lakh accounts between May 15 and June 15. WhatsApp says that 95% of these accounts were banned for unauthorized use of automated or bulk messaging. Sennai is the audio brand has announced their new in-ear earphones IE900 in India. This is the company's flagship in-ear earphones. The company claims that the brand new X3R system delivers a coherent artifact free Sennai is a sound found in full size headphones up to 8 times larger in size. The IE900 earphones are said to made to match the exceptional performance to ensure a refined experience for audio files. The Sennai Sennai IE900 is a flagship level in-ear earphones and cost a whopping around 1,29 Thousand Indian rupees. The headphones will be available for purchase from the country's official web shop. The audio product can also be purchased from e-commerce platform and leading electronic retail outlets in the country. Poco F3 GT will launch in India on July 23rd. The Poco F3 GT will be priced around rupees 30,000. The smartphone will have an AMOLED display. Poco has increased the price of Poco M3 in India by rupees 500 for the online and offline markets. The price hike is applicable on the 6GB and 64GB variant and 6GB and 128GB variants of the smartphone. Poco M3 price in India now starts at rupees 11,499 instead of rupees 10,999. OnePlus is gearing up for the Note 2 launch. The company has revealed the device design ahead of July 22nd launch date. The design reveals the device's rear camera module layout and one of the two rumored color options. OnePlus launched the Buds True Wireless earbuds in India. The budget True Wireless earbuds featured a stem design with silicone earplugs. OnePlus is now gearing up to launch a pro version of the earbuds. The company has already confirmed that it will launch the Buds Pro in India alongside the Note 2. And OnePlus has confirmed the launch of Buds Pro on July 22nd. Ahead of the launch some key details of the Pro True Wireless earbuds have been confirmed. The company has now confirmed that the Pro earbuds will come with a support for active noise cancellation. OnePlus had launched the first smart brand earlier this year. Now a new leak has revealed that the company is working on a special Stephen Harrington edition of the wearable device that will launch soon. Realme has apparently filed a trademark Mac Dart with the UPO. Mac Dart is rumored to be a technology that works like Apple's MagSafe. Apple MagSafe wireless tech is available on last year's iPhone 12 series. Redmi 10 camera specifications have been leaked. The phone is set to come with a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 8 megapixel of secondary sensor and a 2 megapixel of secondary lens. Redmi 10 launch date is yet to be revealed by the company. Xiaomi overtakes Apple to become the second largest smartphone brand worldwide after Samsung. The company has secured a 17% market share and a 83% growth rate annually. Oppo and Vivo are in fourth and fifth places with a 10% market share each. In February last year Xiaomi introduced two Redmi brand power banks one with 10000 mAh capacity and other with 20000 mAh. Now the company announced that it has sold over 1 million units in total of these two products. In India the two power banks are selling at a discount at the moment down to rupees 800 with a 20% offer for the 10000 mAh model and rupees 1400 with 30% offer for the 20000 mAh one. The larger model outputs an 18 watt and the smaller one is limited to 10 watt. Both can be charge it back up using a usb c or micro usb cables The accessory market globally have seen a massive growth and new entrants across the field. Yamaha has carved a niche for itself within the tech space with many important products for entertainment and other purposes. Yamaha has unveiled the YHL 700 hey wireless headphones which features an active noise cancellation technology and spatial audio. While the more expensive Dolby Atmos is not featured in the headphone but rather a mechanism that enhances audio input via 3D sound field functionality for an immersive audio experience. Head tracking control is also so possible on this device the yamaha yhl 700a will go on sale next month for 520 euros that is around 450 pounds Amazfit completed 3 years in India and to celebrate the milestone Zep Health which owns the Zep and Amazfit brands today announced the Zep Z in the Indian market the Zep Z is priced at around 25999 Indian rupees and it will be up for purchase in the country starting July 20th from amazon.in the Zep Z sports a 1.39 inch AMOLED color touch screen having a 454 and 454 pixel resolution and a pixel density of around 326 ppi the display is covered with 2.5d 
Gorilla Glass 3 has a peak brightness of 550 nits and it supports over 50 watch faces. MediaTek has added two new members to its gaming-centric Helio series. The company has announced the launch of its MediaTek Helio G96 and Helio G88 system on chips. The brand says that the latest chips will provide an enhanced performance along with the better photographic capabilities as compared to its predecessor. MediaTek Helio G96 comes with a loaded with the support for 120Hz display along with a 108MP camera, dual 4G SIM support and many more. While MediaTek Helio G88 supports a 90Hz display up to 64 megapixel main camera and many more. MI Pad 5 specifications revealed by FCC include a 22.5 watt charging MI UI 12.5 custom UI, dual band Wi Fi, and a Bluetooth support. The MI Pad 5 has been in the rumor mill for the past few months. It is expected to launch in the next couple of months, likely in August. Microsoft announced Windows 365 during its Inspire conference. Dubbed the Cloud PC during the presentation, Windows 365 is a first subscription-based Windows license. The subscription will let users log into virtual machine running Windows 11 from any device anywhere you have an internet connection. Morphe has announced a new wireless charger that will let you charge three devices at the same time. Designed for Apple devices, users can charge their iPhone 12, Apple Watch and AirPods at the same time. The Morphe 3-in-1 wireless stands for MagSafe charger is priced at $90 and comes only in white color. Nokia XR20 rugged design have been revealed in a new leaked image. The handset may come with a square camera module, blue color option and IP68 rating for water resistant. The Nokia rugged phone is expected to launch on July 27th. Battleground Mobile India developer Krafton has acknowledged some of the in-game bugs introduced by the July update. Some of them include the super smooth game mode not working and the inability to get into in-game events via the Mini Ray TV. Krafton has stated that it will issue a fix at the earliest. And from the Battleground Mobile India Series 2021 eSports tournament have been announced. The tournament has a pool price of around 1 crore rupees and will span across 3 months. Any player who is resident of India and has an account that is platinum and above is eligible to register and in play in-game qualifiers. Any player who is a resident of India and has an account that is platinum and above is eligible to register and play in-game qualifiers. GTA Online as Rockstar finally unveils their plans for the summer. GTA Online Los Santos tuna drops on July 20th and brings a whole host to cool stuff to the game including new vehicles, races a brand new type of interaction between the players and the Los Santos car mate. The Los Santos car mate is a gigantic shared social space where players can check out each other rides and flex within their own. Here players can race and show off their customized rides and Rockstar is also planning to introduce shady contracts next week, a very fast and furious type addition to the game. Starting in August, Google will require a new application submitted to the Play Store to come in the Android app bundle format instead of APKs that were used till now. Amazon is not going to be left behind. The company announced that it is working on AIB support for its App Store, which will also be the default source of Android applications on Windows 11. The Amazon App Store will continue to accept APK submissions from developers. In fact, the submission process will not change. Bundles have several advantages over APKs as they make smaller app downloads and enable dynamic features such as on-demand loading. Samsung Galaxy S20 series owners are complaining their phone's display are dying after initially showing scan lines. The display issue is primarily impacting Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and Galaxy S20 Ultra owners. Samsung has not responded to this display issue yet. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.